What's happening everybody? Furious Pete, Furious Talks. I wanted to bring forward the attention of this guy, Matthias Schlitt, German arm wrestler, champion arm wrestler. And what do you look, when you look at this guy, of course they call him the Popeye. And the reason I'm doing this video is because about a year ago I talked about this natural Popeye who literally had biceps like this, um, boom, Guinness World Record, biggest biceps, whatever. Uh, he was this Egyptian Popeye. Now this guy is literally the, the Popeye because he has one arm that has a massive forearm. And uh, so basically what he has is um, a genetic disorder. And when you look at this, uh, you know, it's actually a good genetic disorder for him in, in which, you know, he participates in arm wrestling competitions and destroys people. Um, and basically, apparently his right arm where he has that massive, massive arm um, has about a bone that's 33% bigger than the other bone. And as a result, he's big boned here. He grew more muscle here. He was more stronger here. And uh, so he's been doing arm wrestles for about 11 years, I believe. And he's been crushing everybody. Uh, he has a lot, a lot of championship belts under his, uh, under his name. And uh, he is crushing everybody. But I know that if somebody saw this picture, right away they would think drugs, synthol. But then again, you actually look at the, the guy's arm like, who in the right mind would actually take, you know, drugs just to inflate one arm rather than and keeping the other one normal and skinny? Now, this guy's forearm is 46 centimeters. Um, 46 centimeter forearm. That's 18 inches. Now, most of us dream of biceps or arms. So that's a combination of our bicep and tricep to be 18 inches. Most of us dream of that, but this guy has a forearm like that of 18 inches. So basically, this guy, if, <laughs> he basically has the ultimate fapping arm. I mean, he can get it done within two seconds. That's literally what he has. He has an 18 inch forearm. That just boggles my mind when you, when you hear that, you're just like, wow, that is a Popeye. That is the real Popeye. Now apparently this guy has even beaten robots out there um, when, when doing arm wrestles. So this guy is legit. In fact, I'm pretty sure that this guy must have one of the biggest forearms in the world, like Guinness World Record biggest forearms, especially when doing like comparing the forearm to his other forearm or forearm to his torso and, and, and his waist and all that. I mean, that must, I mean, I, I've never really seen proportions like this. It's freaky to look like this, but at the end of the day, if you are confident with your body, in which I think this guy is because he's crushing people with arm wrestles, then having a genetic disorder like this isn't necessarily bad. I mean, there's a lot of genetic disorders out there, but if you can take your genetic disorder, whatever it may be, now, I'm not trying to be negative or trying to put down anything or anyone, but if you can take your genetic disorder, whatever it may be, and use it for good, for a positive thing, just and use it for something that can actually benefit you, then do it and push hard with it. Um, because this guy, I, I think this guy shows, you know, it's like just because my other arm is twice as big as this arm doesn't mean I can't kick your ass. Doesn't mean I can't show you what's up because this guy is showing people what's up. This guy is cool. If you guys haven't seen him, just want to bring him, bring him to you, bring the attention to him to show you what he's all about. Arm wrestling. I've done it. Did it against CT Fletcher a couple of uh, weeks ago. Um, I don't know who really won. I don't know, man. I don't know. You guys can decide that, but uh, really, really good time. But uh, arm wrestling, I don't suggest it. I don't suggest it only when you're drunk and you don't care if you break your arm because apparently it's, uh, it can be pretty bad. It can be pretty well, that's it. Real Popeye, what do you guys think of him? Would you want to be him? Would you? At least for a day or maybe forever? Let me know in the comment box below. New TF apparel in the store. Grab it while you can.
Catch you guys next time. If you guys have any other questions that you guys like me to answer in these vlogs, let me know. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid! Is it back up? You know what I'm talking about. So you all went, all seen those in school at one point. And uh, I guess I'm not sure what they're called. I've been looking at teaching supplies and, and classroom supplies and I can't find them. So if you happen to know 